right guys um, welcome back again so just before this rain comes in and hits us see it's looking very dull over there it's just starting to rain now but I thought I'd give you a quick update on the hanging baskets so these have been absolutely battered by the wind over the weekend see damaged a lot of the flowers but just need good deadheading good bit of treatment and they should be okay. As you can see, this one, one that we constructed for the hanging basket challenge. Looking really nice, not quite a ball. And then this one here was the other attempt. Again, these could do with a bit of a feed and some deadheading. And it's just petunias and lobelias in them too. And then Marigolds, Petunias and Lobelias at the bottom of this one. And then we've got a couple more over here. More Petunias, Marigolds and Lobelias in that one. And I've just put what we had left of everything in these baskets at the bottom here. And another two. This is another one that we put together ourselves using two hanging baskets, one on top of each other. And they seem to have filled out okay. Could have done with a couple more plants in here and there. But filled out nicely. And this was a challenge set to me and Rob over at Rob's Allotment Gardening channel. And it was set by Bill and Val over at Bill and Val's allotment. And it was to create a sphere hanging basket, which I think we both accomplished. But definitely do with a bit more work on them. And I'll definitely be giving it a go next year. So I'd just like to say thank you very much to Bill and Val for suggesting it. And thank you to Rob for agreeing to do it. And that's going to be about it for this one guys, I'm getting soaking wet here, so I'm going to go back in the house and get a nice cup of tea, bye for now. Hey then guys, so as it's raining outside, just thought I'd show you a few things in here. But one of the new additions to the polytunnel is one of the cactuses. Uh, had this in the house, had it for about three, four years now. And I put all of them in this one pot because they were only tiny when I bought them. And this one here at the back. outgrown the windowsill in the living room and the one in the kitchen <coughs> as you can see it's first year's growth only came to about here second year's came to about here and this kink in it here is where it hit the ceiling in the kitchen so I moved it onto the living room as you can see grown this much from here up to there in probably the last 12 months and as you can see from the top there it started to kink again and that's where it hit the ceiling in the windowsill in the living room so hopefully it'll be all right in here but I'm going to keep it in this far corner out the way and maybe repot it but I'm not sure whether or not I should try splitting them up and I'm putting them into individual pots then these three can go back in the house and this big one can stay in here so yeah guys just thought I'd show you that quickly and uh 
if anyone's got any tips, <coughs> excuse me, if anyone's got any tips for a potty mix or whether or not you think I should try splitting these up. Because if you look there, they're already touching. And I don't want them to restrict the growth of these anymore. So should I try splitting them up and individually potting them on? Or should I keep it all in the same pot and just pot the whole thing into a bigger pot? So yeah guys, let me know in the comments below what you think I should do with that. And uh, have a great day. Bye for now.